hate it when I'm on the bus and someone's talking so loudly this on their phone. This idiot was talking on his mobile phone. I saw a salesman get abused. I don't know what they did on the weekend. Some people need to be more concerned about that. Is there anybody out there who can stop these people? Yes, I'm, I'm awake. Yeah. Yeah. I'll call you later in the day. Yeah. Okay. Okay, bye now. I'll be home after I finish work tonight. I'll try not to be too late. Jim! Sorry, I was in the shower, I couldn't hear you. Matthew, do you know what time it is? Why aren't you ready? I know, I know. Look, I didn't get home so early this morning. My alarm didn't go off, the hot water's not working, and what's with calling me Matthew? It's Matt. Hey, did you read the paper this morning? You just might get him today. Of course I read it. You can't believe everything you read in the media. Now, will you hurry up, sport, or as late as it is? Yes, sir. Bloody fool. Now, gentlemen, of course, we all know why we're here today, to congratulate you three on a job well done, closing that big deal this week. So, well done, gentlemen. Thanks, boss. Cheers Good to on you. you guys. Well done. Now, of course, with that close, we're talking about business that's on the table at hand now. So, Kevin, what's going on? Um, still working on that NAB project, as, as you well know. Um, about 90% there. Still negotiating price. OK, time is of the essence, gentlemen. So, I need to move on this a lot more quickly, OK? Now, 
now. May I take your order, ma'am, or shall I give you a little more time and come back to you? No, no you're not going anywhere. It took you forever to get here in the first place. I'm not leaving until I finish giving you my order. Do you understand? Of course. I'm terribly sorry. Now, what did you say the fish of the day was? The fish of the day is a crisp skin South Australian Jewfish fillet. It's an extremely popular dish and one that I'd highly recommend. Well, if I wanted your recommendation, I think I would have asked for it. What does it come with? It's accompanied by broad beans, green peas, asparagus wait, and wait, wait. Yes? Here we go. No, I don't want to hear any excuses from you, OK? Whatever you need to do to get it done. Good. Okay. I want results. I want answers. <clears throat> okay. Whatever you need to do to make it happen, you just make sure it happens before I get back to the office. Do you hear me? Hey, Jim. How about you let me take this one outside and teach her a lesson? One she won't soon forget. Settle down, Rocky. Do you realise what you're saying? You're an officer of the law, and that type of attitude is a form of misconduct as far as I'm concerned. And I'll be damned if I'm going to tolerate that sort of behaviour from my partner. You got that? Okay. What the hell do you think I'm you're doing? I'm sorry to interrupt this conversation, but the person that this phone belongs to is in breach of code 12A of the mobile phone etiquette. What? You'll have to continue this conversation later. Bye for now. What the hell did you just do? That was a very important call you just hung up on. I'd watch my tone of voice if I were you. Easy, Tiger. The offender has every right to know the reason why she's being arrested. She broke the law by answering a mobile phone call while having lunch and ignoring those people in your immediate company. Who the hell do you think you are? Hmm? We're MPOs, mobile phone officers. MPOs? I've never heard of you. Where are your badges? I'll just use a bitch. It's okay, folks. Everything is fine. There's nothing to see here. Please, go back to your lunches and your conversations and be rest assured that you'll have no more rude interruptions from that offender. What this time, Jim? Another mobile phone offender, Sarge. Matt. Sarge. I've written the details of the offence on the ticket. I'll leave her in your hands so you can begin processing it. Leave her with me, Jim. I'll take her from here. Oh, and keep up the good work. You're doing a great job ridding society of these menaces. Thanks, Sarge. It means a lot to hear that from you. Now, what am I going to do about you? Well, you can start by telling me what the hell is going on here. I mean, are those two nut jobs or what? Some time ago, Jim was knocked unconscious by an early version of a mobile phone. The size of a brick. When he came to, he had a mild case of amnesia. And he's never really gotten better. He believes he's an officer of the law assigned to patrol the misuse of mobile phones by consumers in today's society. Well, how does he survive if he doesn't have a real job then? No, oh, he got a huge compensation settlement from the phone's manufacturer. He doesn't need to work another day in his life. And the kid? Matt. Matt was one of the first offenders Jim arrested. But Jim decided to give Matt a break on one condition, that Matt train and become his partner. He's a good bloke with honourable intentions. After he drops you here, I release you with no real harm done. Well, you and those other two clowns are going to be hearing from my lawyers. Do you understand? Listen to me, Missy. You're going to walk away from here and you're not going to do a damn thing. What you are going to do is be more considerate and thoughtful to others when you use your mobile phone in the future. Got it?
Thanks for the ride. I really thought we were going to catch him today, you know? Hey, do you want to come inside for a drink before you go home? Uh, no, no, no. No, thanks. Next time. Got a few things I need to do at home. As soon as I get home, quicker I can get them done. By the way, you worked hard today. I'm really proud of your son. I'll see you tomorrow. And don't be late. Where are my keys? Don't tell me. Hello, Jim? Is anyone there? It's me, Matt. Hey, Jim. Jim, you in there? It's not what you think. They deserve better. You can't believe everything you read in the media. They're in, they're in good hands now. You, Jim? You're doing a great job. I'm really proud of your son. I can explain. Just, just, just listen for a second, will you? Matt? Matt? 